Today's topic is Pleco fish. Most people buy Pleco fish thinking they will keep their tanks clean. In this video, I'll provide more interesting information about this fish so you can decide whether or not to keep it in your aquarium. If you have a Pleco fish already in your tank or are planning to buy one, this video will be helpful. Plecos are attractive and interesting fish. They can live 10 to 15 years based on your tank setup. The common pleco is often sold in pet stores as cheap cleaner fish. If you've ever touched this fish, you'll know how rough their body is with large bony armor-like plates. They are known by different names across the world like sucker fish, sucker mouth catfish, armored catfish, pleco, tank cleaner fish and algae eater. Please make sure add a comment on how do you call this fish in your country. Plecos clean your tank. This is the first and biggest lie you will hear from some pet stores. In fact, very few plecos will eat algae from your tank once they fully grow. Plecos are messy fish that produce a lot of waste. They require heavy filtration and frequent water changes to keep the tank clean. Having a pleco is not a substitute for regularly cleaning or vacuuming your substrate to remove waste. If you're buying a pleco because you don't like cleaning the tank, your problems will get worse. Will pleco eat algae and leftover fish food? Most plecos are omnivores or vegetarians and need plenty of fresh vegetables like blanched yam, cucumber, or zucchini, plus prepared algae wafers or other appropriate food. They also need some wood in the tank to chew on. There are pleco types that are more carnivorous and require a meaty protein diet that is rich in nutrients. Research your pleco type to find out its specific dietary needs. Before I continue, I would like to mention this month's AD channel members. Thank you so much for your continued support of the channel. If you are not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon. Plecos grow bigger than you think. Pet stores often sell common plecos and other large plecos as cheap cleaner fish. However, this 3-inch baby eventually grows up to nearly 2 feet in size. Placing them in a small tank means they will quickly outgrow and pollute the tank, possibly killing themselves and the other fish. Most large plecos need at least 30 gallons to start out. So if you are thinking about buying pleco fish to keep your tank clean, search for the type before buying. Thankfully, there are smaller pleco types that better suited to the average home aquarium. The bristlenose, otoclinus, rubber lip, clown, blue panac and angelicus pleco are beautiful types that grow only 4 to 6 inches long. They may cost slightly more than the common pleco, but they're manageable size and produces less waste. Will plecos live in a community tank? Not all plecos do well with other fish. Larger plecos may suck on the slime coat of fish like discus or goldfish which can cause injuries. Some plecos can be territorial and aggressive towards other fish, especially for food or breeding space. Also, small and peaceful pleco types should be kept with similar tank mates. Make sure that your pleco will not be outcompete for food, especially if you have other fast bottom feeders like clown loaches in the aquarium. Remember that many plecos come from South America where the water is quite soft, so placing them in a tank with hard water fish like African cichlids isn't always a good idea. What are the different pleco types to consider? There are several types of pleco fish available. Pleco fish types vary in size, color, and behavior. It may be a topic for another video. There are a few types that I found to be fun and colorful additions to any tank, including zebra, gold nugget pleco, and rubber lip. Do plecos eat fish poop? Plecos vary in their food preferences from vegetarian to high protein, but none live solely on fish waste. No pleco fish eats other fish poop. Because they're bottom drawling fish, they eat leftover food from the bottom of your tank. Although plecos are known as cleaning fish and algae eaters, they must be fed a regular diet consisting of high-quality fish foods. People tend to only give them algae wafers, but most plecos prefer well-balanced meals consisting of a wide variety of foods. Do some research on the particular pleco you have, because not all plecos eat the same thing. Since plecos are active at night, feed them when the lights are off. So that you get a chance to feed while the other fish are less active. Is it okay to leave a pleco in the wild? 
Do not release your common pleco into the wild because they are a highly destructive species and harm the environment. It has become increasingly obvious that leaving common plecos in the wild has big issues. In the recent past, people observed dozens of these fish clinging to manatees' backs, feeding on the algae that grows on their backs in Florida. This behavior severely impacts manatees' lives and health. It is for this reason that some countries have banned leaving them in the wild. In countries like India, they eat other fish in the wild and destroying the natural water environment. Does Aqua Diary recommend plecos? I don't recommend buying common pleco fish if you are just looking for them to clean your tank. These fish require a proper tank size. Anything less than 20 gallons is not suitable. Plecos are messy fish, so make sure your tank has adequate filtration. Maintain your tank with regular water changes and vacuum the substrate to remove poop. It is critical to include wood, caves, and hiding places in the tank so that it feels secure. If you can't keep these things straight, consider only pleco types that don't outgrow. I hope today's video was informative and helpful. Be sure to thumbs up, subscribe, and click the bell icon to support the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.